For our final lesson in scientific notation, let's take a look at some real-world problems. In this problem, it says an analysis was done on one quart of pond water from the local park to see if it was safe for swimming. Dr. Andropoulos counted 1.3 times 10 to the 6th bacteria in one quart. Express this as a conventional number. So we're going to take this number in scientific notation and convert it to standard notation. So 1.3 times 10 to the 6th. Now you'll remember that's just expanding this out times 10 to the 6 would mean 1 and then we move our decimal point over 6 spaces so 1 3 0 0 0 0 0 1 million 300,000 in our second problem we see that the earth moves around the sun at 6.7 times 10 to the 4th miles per hour how many miles does the earth travel after 2.4 times 10 to the 3rd hours or 100 days so in this problem it tells how far it goes in 1 hour and then we're supposed to multiply that by some number of hours to find out how far it travels in total. So that's multiplication. 6.7 times 10 to the fourth times 2.4 times 10 to the third. And once again, this is just multiplication with scientific notation. We'll multiply our two constants here, 6.7 and 2.4. 6.7 times 2.4. 28, carry the 2, 24, 25, 26, 0, that's 14, carry the 1, 12, 13, add them together, 10, carry the 1, that gives me 6, 1, 1,608, I've got a decimal there, that's going to give me 16.08 times 10 to the 7th. Now, am I in scientific notation? I am not. And I need to make sure that I move that back to proper scientific notation. So I'm going to move this decimal there. It's going to give me 1.608. And since I'm moving it to the left, I'm going to have to increase my exponent. We've got one last problem here. A rectangular field has a length of 5 times 10 to the 4th meters. It is 4 times 10 to the 3rd meters wide. What is the area of the land? So this is rectangular, and hopefully you remember that the area of a rectangle, right, the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. We've been told that our length is 5 times 10 to the 4th, 5 times 10 to the 4th, and we've been told that our width is 4 times 10 to the 3rd. Simple scientific notation multiplication. I'm going to multiply my 5 and my 4. That's going to give me 20. Then I'm going to multiply my exponents, and that's going to be, give me 10 to the 4 plus 3, that's going to give me 20 times 10 to the 7th. Am I done? No siree, Bob. I've got to put this back one space right there. That's going to give me 2 times 10 to the what? Well, since I moved it to the left, I increased my exponent to 8, and I'm finished.